Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another day in the life of Wookie, aka story time with Wookie. <laughs> Today's gonna be a very calm video because I'm in a very calm mood. Um, I want to talk about it because I just realized after recording a Dragalia Lost video, funny enough, I recorded a video right after recording a Dragalia Lost video after the Gala Shell where I was like, there's a lot of banners for me to summon on because I play a decent amount of gotchas. Um, I'm not someone like, uh, I think Nolar plays like 25 million gotchas at a time. I think I, I at most play five and some I just actively ignore. But the point is, is that what I was trying to say is that there's a lot of things for me to summon on. And when you're just constantly summon on, it's not just the constant summoning, it's this constant summoning of hype stuff. So, and usually when I um have to go do that i feel some form of i guess this is the anxiety the right word so i wanted to talk about it a bit so let me start off um start with your galia lost the big one was of course gala shell which just came out i have been thankfully i committed myself to just doing the multi tickets and i only did that and i felt pretty good about it um i'm chances are gonna end up missing her and the reason I'm okay with that is because I'm waiting for the Persona 5 collab to come out. And I want to get those characters, guaranteed. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. But that comes out the 30th. But Gala Shell came out the, um... I guess technically the 27th? Yes. 26th, I think. It's weird because time, time is a flat circle, I guess. Um, so that came out. Didn't get her. You know, felt okay about it. Um, before that, in the beginning of the month, I knew that Bounty Rush was having an anniversary, but I, like a dumb dumb, wasted 700 diamonds before the anniversary on... Uh, to be fair, I don't regret it now, um, but it was like 700 diamonds, which had all been saved up from just playing the game, on a step-up banner that gave me a lot of good characters that I didn't, I thought I was missing, but I completely forgot that the anniversary was about to come up, and that banner was there specifically to get those characters out of me. So it was kind of like, oh no, I fell into a trap. But they started releasing their Extreme Bounty Festival. I think there's at most only ever three in the entirety. There's only, the, currently there only exists five and basically they release two at anniversary and one at the 1.5 year anniversary. That's the current rate of releasing these Extreme Bounty Festivals. Um, they're extremely hard to pull in banner wise and they require a lot of diamonds for you to actually pull on to get them in a guaranteed step bounty rash is in such an evil game that they're like well there's no way for you to get them the problem is that <laughs> the way to get them requires so much diamonds that it almost feels unfeasible sometimes though as i said if i had not summoned on that banner i think i would have been able to um easily gotten something out of it that one I felt bad because when Odin came out, I was like, okay, I'm going to save these diamonds for when Roger comes out. Because I knew Roger was going to come out because that was the leak. And also Treasure Cruise had just literally had the same anniversary like this a couple, like a month ago. So I was kind of under the idea that, okay, it, it's going to be Odin and Roger. Originally I was like, Roger? Roger really doesn't do anything except for something pretty recent um, in a flashback. So I was like, that's weird. How can you make a character like that? But I guess that was enough for them to be like, no, we're, we have to go ahead to make Roger units now. Um, so Treasure Cruise has them, Bounty Rush has it, and I'm pretty sure eventually a Pirate Warrior game will have Roger in it. <sighs> but um, I digress. But so yeah, I spent, uh, I had, I think, 200, at 300 at the start of Odin coming out, and I was like, okay, I'm going to save these for when Roger comes out. And I didn't save him. I spent all 300 of them on his banner. And then I got... <sighs> I guess is angry in the right word? It's more like there's a t there's like a specific... It's like a gotcha tilt. It's a Kirby tilt and tumble. Um, where you just want this specific unit for whatever reason. And this is what all gotchas eventually want you to do. Um, thankfully, I never did more than the... Um, in terms of paying, I only ever paid for... Uh, the 50 diamonds and the the monthly stuff which i do every every three months or so so it wasn't too bad because at the because i was already planning on doing that so it was like okay for anniversary i'm gonna need the extra metal space because they're gonna give me a lot of metal stuff so it was kind of one of those things predestined 
so it's not that big chunk it wasn't that big of a chunk of a money thing because i already had it planned out far in advance the worst feeling is summoning on something where it's like oh i'm just gonna get all this stuff now and you don't really have you and you're doing it and specifically you're throwing it at a banner and then you're just not getting anything and then you enter a cycle just going like okay again again and i never want to enter that cycle and thankfully i was able to avoid it because after doing all that i was like Ugh. well that was dumb i got uh <laughs> i got some stuff out of it but didn't get everything that i didn't get odin and then when roger's banner came out um today I was actually able to get him, and I was actually super happy about that. It changed everything. It kind of changed an entire dynamic where I was like, okay, I think I can walk myself out because I could feel myself being like, if there's a good deal, I was totally going to do it. And when it when um, the banner released, they revealed, okay, 72 hour only, basically 200 diamonds for the price of, I think it's, I think it's like 80 bucks or so. And I thought about it for a brief second. I was like, yo, you know what? It would basically blow my entire entertainment budget for the next two weeks, but I could totally do it. But thankfully, Roger came uh, in step four of my step up, so I was like, okay, let's walk down this hill and let's play the game from here on out. Where I actually did calculations like, okay, I got 300 something diamonds coming to me naturally. So let's just walk back, let's walk it back a bit, and I'll just let the rest of this turn into the natural game uh, diamond feeling. So that was rough. Um, at least when Odin came out. When Rod, now that Rod, now that I have Roger and I'm slowly building him up, I'm kind of like, okay. I don't feel the need to. Which I feel like if I had gone to the point of like, okay, I need to spend crazy on this, I would have probably ended up uninstalling it because I feel like at that point it would have been the good call. It's hard to make that call, honestly. If you're someone who specifically knows what I'm talking about here. Um, it's hard to realize when you have a specific problem, and thankfully I don't really have a problem because I always make sure to make something out of a video out of it, and Bounty Rush... Bounty Rush I don't make as much videos as I used to, but it's mainly because I always use the same people. Like, the, is there someone out there who wants to see me play with Big Mom every single week? The answer is no, not really. Um, I would love it if there were, to be honest. The only reason I don't make more Bounty Rush videos is that there's not enough interest in them. Um, I still absolutely love the game. It's still the reason I got into One Piece. But you know, for the growth of the specific channel, I will focus on the games that people are interested in. So if you ever wonder if likes and comments and stuff matter, it does. Um, and for the people who stick around for my Bounty Rush videos, I do, do make them every once in a while. Um, but when I do, I always do it with the... <laughs> Know that every time I release a Bounty Rush video, it's me going, I'm about to take a hit on this. And I just go for it. And I'm like, okay. No one's going to care about this video, but like the 20, 10 or 20 people that watch my Bounty Rush stuff. And maybe they won't like it because I'm not playing to the best of my abilities or something. And then it becomes basically a wash of a day. It becomes, alright, I released something. Good. Um, and again, I, it usually doesn't matter to me, but it is something I think about. It's actually way easier when I'm releasing two videos at a time. Um, but currently things are just crazy busy, um, with my work starting to slowly come back and January is the worst month for ad revenue on YouTube. I think every YouTuber has said it. So I kind of took this time to kind of do some more weird experimental stuff like i specifically did the pokemon and tales of symphonia and tales of symphonia exists in the exact same land as bounty rush where it's like man the 20 people who are watching this will hopefully like it i'm i'll be surprised if tales of symphonia uh stays at its current rate of people watching it because right now i think it, it it started at 35 and then it went to 25 i'm like pretty soon pretty soon it's gonna be like five people who watch this because they're hour-long videos of a video game story so Thankfully, the Pokemon ones, a lot more people kind of stick with it and leave likes, which keeps me motivated. Um, Tales of what keeps me motivated for keeping on Tales of Symphonia is that I just absolutely love the game, so I'm going to keep playing it regardless of anything. Anyway, that's the end of Bounty Rush. The next is, of course, Dokkan. It's having its six-year anniversary. Six years of Dokkan, man. Fuck. And I'm going to be doing a video on that. I didn't do a video on Bounty Rush because I was like, that's how down in the dumps I was on Bounty Rush. Now, funny enough, 
Dokkan, I don't have that money spending problem, but that's because I broke it a, a long time ago. Um, maybe that should be a different focus for another uh, day in the life of Wokey, but... Um, how I specifically broke my Dokkan time... Like, the, my Dokkan habits can go back a long time. Um, but the point is, six-year anniversary, Master Ultra Instinct Goku and... Um, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegito. 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 I'll probably just end up pulling on Master Ultra Instinct Goku. Um, if I have spare stones, I might throw some at Vegeta. But I don't really expect to get either of them. I'm actually pretty happy that there's going to be an LR Roshi. Um, that makes me happier. At this point, I'm looking at the banners. I'm going to wait for the banners to come out, look at them, and say, What do I actually want from here? And I'm going to be like, if I get them, I'll be happy. If I get someone I can't... I, like, if I got launch, I'd be pretty damn happy. Because I'm like, I didn't have her. And I was going to waste these stones anyway. Um, and then all those, all this is some pretty good coinage, I guess. But that's going to be pretty rough because that's going to be the exact same time as the Persona collab. So it's going to be like, I think Dokkan is the 30th and so is the Persona collab. Uh, actually, the Persona collab might be later in the night because Jap Japanese time, something like that. But that's gonna be pretty rough. Um, I have a. I'm gonna have about 300 stones ready for that. It's basically enough to get nothing. <laughs> it's enough for two rotations, and that's it. Nothing else. <laughs> but again, you know, if Dokkan could make me uninstall with its shitness, the only thing I'm glad about is that I don't really spend money on Dokkan anymore. Um, I occasionally do, but it's like throwing two bucks every once in a while or so not two bucks but like nine bucks or so uh and i'm usually able to do it now here's a funny thing is specifically when my channel does good i it doesn't happen very often it's basically every three months or so i get enough money to put back into the channel and usually what i what i do with that money that i put back into the channel is that i use it on gotcha currency so i can make summon videos and summon videos are actually a very good way to get people to go to your channel um, if you know what you're doing anyway. Um, for example, the Fake Grand Order Summoning for Okita Altar, um, that video with my brother is the reason why you got more Fake Grand Order videos from me, because it did really well, and people were interested, and I was motivated, and I eventually did the, um, starter video. And that video bangs to this day. I'm super proud about that video. I never thought I would be proud of a video I did, but I'm totally proud of that video. I'm also proud of the Frosty the Snowman. There's actually a select video that I can actually look at and go like, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of my work on Frosty the Snowman. I'm proud of that guide for doing its best. Um, so yeah, Dokkan. Hopefully I do good. I don't think I will. But th the thing is, is that I can take one or two big banners at a time and then go like, ah, I got screwed over. It's fine. It's when they're constantly after one after another, you just get like drained of something it's like the life force of me inside uh thankfully in genshin i got ganyu pretty easily so i didn't have to worry about that really um my friends think i might have hit pity because of what i was doing months ago but i honestly don't remember how many summons i did before i stopped playing for a brief moment um and now i'm back in the fold i don't know if i'm gonna be summoning for that guy either but you know, not not to talk crap about that guy because he seems perfectly fine. I'm just more interested in guy, well, girl forced five stars personally, and with the game being such a pain in the butt to summon on, um, I'll do that. Um, and then, funny enough, Fake Grand Order ended up being the gotcha that treated me the best because I got Ilya. I guess you could debate best. Technically, I got the good unit, which was the five star. I was going for Miu because Miu is super, super, super duper limited, and the collector in me wanted her, but she's bad. So it's kind of like, they gave me the better unit, they gave me the better five star, they gave me literally the better version of what I was asking for. Um, but if I, I would have liked her for collection's sake. And if you're a fan of Miu, then I apologize for my comments against Miu. So yeah, I think that's basically the end of this video i just wanted to talk about the specific gotchas and my feeling towards it it's very weird it's one of those things where i can't really talk about it with a lot of other people mainly because you know how do you explain gotcha stuff how do you how do i be like 
like my brother and sister can understand to a certain extent i know my brother can um he's felt the same thing i've felt before when he didn't get bride nero um that he was super hopeful and waiting for and i ended up buying him a real game and said listen man if this game not treating you right then you need to go you need to stop giving it your attention because that's my general feeling about any gotchas that if you at any point feel disrespected and you feel like you are being treated like crap then you have to stop playing the game that's why i don't understand people who specifically stop playing a like i play i stopped playing legends because i felt like i was being cheated like a piece of shit and i have not returned i think the only thing that could get me to return is them completely revamping their fucking game like not even a really could get me back into legends you can quote me on this if a really shows up in legends i will not be installing legends there's just zero point in me returning to the game especially since they're just gonna release her with like a fucking um zenkai and then the zenkai will be 10 times better than me i don't want to deal with that shit but that's the thing is that i felt like i was specifically not being treated correctly it's not that it's not like they can't improve or anything it's just that my personal limit had been reached and some people have different breaking points i think the only other game that's kind of like that was grand cross but the thing is just because grand cross stopped giving me the fucking unit that i wanted so i stopped playing it's that simple sometimes that's why i never fault anyone for like you want to talk about the ultimate fucking person who does this it's Zahal. um Zahal constantly <laughs> plays gotchas that i play and then either does or doesn't get the unit and stops playing um but to be honest if i was doing the same i did the same thing with grand cross it's like the base part of this game hasn't changed and which is a shame because i actually really did like diane and i like their boob physics but i think i'm getting all away from my initial starting point already that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. This is actually my second time recording this video because I realized the first time I recorded this video it was super depressing. Uh, hopefully this one was less depressing for you. I hope so. If it is, leave a like. <laughs> Comment, tell me if you don't feel depressed. And as always, if you're having specific trouble with gotcha stuff, um, I think there's hotlines for that, but know that I I'm in your corner. If you're specifically looking to dump your game, I'm all for it. I support you, even if it's one that I absolutely love. If you have a problem with summoning in a fake grand order, for example, and you keep spending money on it and not feeling like you're you're getting you're like feeling like shit every single time you're doing it, I would tell you to uninstall. It doesn't matter how good your box is, because you cannot put a price on how you feel on the inside. Is how I basically feel. And if a game, if, even if my, like, if at any point I felt like Dokkan was no longer worth my time and specifically it was harming me to keep it on my phone even though i spent so much money on it i would gladly get rid of it if it would if it were if it were to make me happy i would do it um you're right money is something that's extremely hard to justify wasting but also if you're gonna if it's making you like sad or mad get rid of it that's how i see it thanks everyone <laughs> Till next time, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.